there can be both naturally occurring contaminants as well as human-induced contaminants in groundwater. Naturally occurring contaminants can get into groundwater simply through dissolving in the water from the rock and from the soil in the water. A very common contaminant that we find in groundwater in Rhode Island are iron and manganese, which occur naturally. And these aren't a health concern in drinking water, but they're nuisance problems. And so those of us who, who have problems with iron and manganese may notice some staining of laundry or in our bathroom fixtures, tubs, toilets, that sort of thing. Radon is another naturally occurring contaminant, which at high enough levels can be a health concern. Bacteria, those are also naturally occurring. So a malfunctioning well or a well in disrepair may be contaminated with bacteria. And bacteria can also come from mismanaged human waste and animal waste. There are other land uses that can contribute to groundwater contamination. Industrial land uses. Rhode Island has a very old industrial history. We have, there may be buried wastes, there may be old landfills that can contribute to groundwater contamination. Agricultural land uses, how pesticides and fertilizers are used, how animal waste is managed on the farm and then residential land uses, and this is most important. What's happening right around the area of, our, of your own well? So how is the septic system maintained? Is it uh, inspected on a regular basis and maintained properly? How do you use, store, and dispose of some potentially dangerous household chemicals? Where is the dog in relation, in relation to your well? And how does storm water flow over uh, from your rooftop or from your driveway? Does it flow away from the well where it can't get to the wellhead and impact? So private well owners need to ask themselves these important questions. What's happening? right in and around their own home that could be potential contamination sources to their own drinking water.